this is going to be a video on the Van True. This is the N4. You can see over here the three channel camera. I am going to show you how to update the software and maybe how to fix the camera at the same time. So there's going to be a lot of talking here. Sorry, I'm doing this just on my computer table because there's a lot involved for this to get done. Again, this is the N4. I own the N2 Pro. I burned or upgraded the software before, no problem. With the Van True N4, my problem is that half the time when I start the car, the camera screen, this camera screen over here, is totally black. The light, the blue light flashes on and off, but the camera is black. So I upgraded the software, which is online. I'm going to show you how to do that. I also went over to the side over here, pressed the reset button. That didn't do anything. I also, not only did I power it up with the mount in the car, but I also connected the cable to this thing directly to avoid going through the mount to see if that was the problem. And none of that works. I contacted Van True and they said, and I already told them that I had updated the software, they said, we are going to send you software in email, which are the files. Now when you download online from their website, you go to support, you look for your camera, and there will be two, two things. One will say download, it will tell you how to do it. The other will be download, and you'll be downloading the file that you're going to use to update this camera. I told you this is going to be a long video. This is fairly involved, but it's very simple. So, when you download from the website, there, I believe there are one file, two, well, I'll get into that in a minute. There's probably about one, two, three files, something like that. So what happens is you download a file and they put it in a zip, in a rare file. A rare file is a .rar. It's kind of the same as a zip file, it's a compressed file. If you do not have software on your computer, to open up a .rar file, you will need to install WinRare or WinZip. And if this is way above you, you're probably going to need some help by somebody who can help you do all of this. But you install WinRare, WinZip, um, you'll end up clicking on start the, the program, or what you'll do is you'll find the file that you downloaded, the WinRare and that will include like VN for Van True and then the version number and maybe the date and .rar and you'll click on that and then the win rare software will open up and it'll, you'll go do extract all and you'll save it somewhere on your hard drive and then we're going to start this explanation of once those files are saved in your hard drive then you install them on this camera now my problem was that wasn't working, so when I contacted Van True, they said we are going to send you a full install, which includes 12 files, not just the two or three or one or whatever that was, the full 12 files, and you can only get that directly from them, you can't find it online, and I'm going to show you how this is done now. So it's kind of confusing, but it isn't. Hopefully this video is going to help somebody, somebody who, who doesn't know how to fix this, this video is going to benefit you. You're going to get the same info from Van True because they're going to send you the file, but if you don't have to go that far into getting your camera running, if you just need to do an update of the software, then this video is going to help a lot of people. So here we go. Now you are going to have to format the SD card that is in the camera. You really don't need to format the SD card now, but they want you to format it, so we're going to format it. What happens when you format this thing, there are two or three folders that are left in here, like events or normal, or I don't know what they list for their camera. And it, you're going to format the SD card, you're going to take off all your files. You can do that on the computer if you know what you're doing with your Windows computer. You can do that by going to the uh, the Explorer icon, clicking on that, deleting all your files, so they don't want you to have any files on there. The thing is, when you do a format the way I'm going to show you, you're going to lose all your files, but you're going to keep those folders that are already in there. Once you copy all these folders and files and do all of this, um, you're going to get the option when you start up the camera after it burns the SD, after it burns the software, 
uh, the firmware, you're going to get an option to format the SD card again, and you probably should. So here we go. We're going to go on the side over here. We're going to go to the cable, the connector to power this thing up. And there's the blue lights. That's the problem that I'm having is I'm getting the blue light all the time. I get the blue light when I'm in the car, but I don't get the, uh, the camera doesn't start up. So this is going to take a few seconds. It should start up. You want to do this through your computer. You don't want to do this through the uh, power brick. Van through, start it up. Now I should get an option here to go into USB. Okay, the computer just detected it. USB or power on. I believe in this case we want to go to... I get, I get mixed up all the time. Do I want to go to power on? Um, I want to go to power on. So I'm going to take the arrow down button or the arrow up button, whichever one you want. And I'm going to click on the OK button. Yes, I've done this a zillion times. So now I, I am hoping I did that the right way. I should get the power on. Power on. I'm going to click on the this button here. I might have done this wrong. I'm going to click on the, this might just take the picture. I'm going to press it to take the photo. Oh, okay, so I pressed on the, uh, the M, the far button on the left. And so we've got the up buttons, down buttons, the OK buttons, the on off button. So what I want to do over here is I'm going to arrow over. You can use either arrow again. We've got system setup. I press OK with the left button. I pressed the wrong button. See, I screwed up. So we're going to do that again. Hang in there. Okay. It's taking a photo, that's the problem. There we go, system setup. Now I want to go to OK. And then I want to go down till I get to format SD card. I don't really like how they do this. But you want the one that's highlighted. Then I'm going to press OK. Format SD card. Do all the data. Yes. You want to wipe out all the data. Format. Formatting takes just seconds. Successful. And we're done. Okay, so that part is finished. This is the file that Van True sent to me. If you were just doing this off their website, then you're going to pretty much do the same thing. You'll download whatever file they want you to use for your update. So I'm going to click on this. I just want to download it. That's the whole thing. I want to download it to my computer. This is Windows 10. This box will come up. I don't want to open it. Well, I could use the open or I could use the save. What I'm going to do is, I want to save it because I want it on my computer. So I'm going to save it. We're going to click OK. It's going to save the file. And now you've got to remember uh, where you saved it. That's the most important thing is where did I save this file with me? I saved it in downloads. So I'm going to go to downloads. And if you want to avoid that part of it, you can do that. Um, you can see today, we've got the file name, the rare, so I'm going to double click on it. And you get the WinRare program that starts up. Let's try to move this down here so you can see it. WinRare. And then over here at the top, we have Extract All. I don't know if you can see that. Extract To. And what I'm going to show you now is when I double click on this, you can see we just got, it just shows now the 12 files that they're sending me. So I want to extract two. I'm going to click on extract two. It's going to give me another box. It's going to say, where do you want to extract it? I want to extract it to uh, location that I'm setting up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close all of this right next to the today. You can see that it extracted everything over here. That's today's date and today's time. I click on this. <coughs> We've got those 12 programs there, 12 files. These 12 files need to be copied over to the SD card. 
and they need to be put on your SD card in the root directory. Now, I'm going to show you what the root directory is after I get over to the camera. Now, I don't remember if this happened before, but I am not able to access the USB part of the camera right now because I'm assuming that's because the camera is on, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Pressing the power button. Um, and let's see if I can uh, get the camera. Probably not because it's turned off, but if that's the case, I'll turn it back on in a minute. So what I probably wanted to do was press the memory button again and then move this over to power on. But we'll try both of them and see what happens. It shows that, what do we connect to? Drive F. I don't know if I'm able to connect to Drive F. That's the whole thing. Drive F. Yeah, right now I cannot connect to Drive F on the computer, probably because it's locked up with the camera. So let's see what we've got over here. Connecting USB. I'm going to try that one more time. If it doesn't work, we will... Uh... Do I want to do that? Yeah, we'll do okay. USB connecting. Now I want to see if I can get connected to the... There we go. Okay. I had to shut it off. I turned it back on. USB connecting. Let me show you what happened. Sorry this is so confusing. Um... I'm keeping this camera on a tripod and I'm just going from screen to screen and looking from the table to the computer so I can explain this to you. It's not that hard to do, but it just requires a lot of moving around. So this is the camera right now. I just clicked on, on my, ca on my computer it's showing that the uh, camera is Drive F. So when I click on Drive F, USB Drive F, this is what shows up. Normal, that is going to be, it's empty because I just uh, erased it. But normal is where all of your video files are going to be as you record. An event, remember when I pressed that M and the screen turned red with the key? Event would be if you got in an accident. It would save the event, but you could also press that button, the event button, the M key, and it would save the uh, that exact event, I believe 30 seconds before and 30 seconds after, into the event folder. So this is considered the root folder. You don't want to go into event, you don't want to go into normal, you don't want to go into that, which you can't. This over here is the root folder. You want to copy the 12 files, or if you're, up, if you're downloading from uh, the website to do your regular updates, one, two, three files, I forget what it is again. Um, you want to copy those files. You don't want to copy the folder, you don't want to copy the .rar file, you don't want to copy the folder of files, you want to copy the actual files. So I'm going to show you how we do that. I have a feeling maybe one person is going to watch this video. I'm going to spend half an hour making a video that no one's ever going to watch. So this is the folder. Remember this was the rare file over here. We unrared. We have the 12 files. I'm going to go in here and highlight all these files right now. Copy them. This is when it helps to know windows and copy and paste files and how to move them in folders because you're going to have to do it sometime in your life, probably. So I've highlighted these, I've done the copy. On my keyboard I just pressed uh, Control and then C for copy. And then I'm going to go back over to Drive F. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a paste. You could do a Control V or you could do this like I'm doing so you can see what the heck's going on. And it's going to copy all 12 files. That is what you wanted to do. That is a majority of, the, of what's going on here. Now, let's go on to the final steps. If you have, this is the easiest way to do it for me. Uh, go in there, format everything. If you have an external SD unit, you could take the SD card out and do the format. But the problem is you're not, well, you could do that, and then when you do the regular format, you're going to get the event in the normal folder. I would just format the thing in the camera like I just did. Much easier. Now, after you do that, at least what they say on their website is you would normally press the on button. The 
blue light would start blinking, it would say updating, it would take about 90 seconds, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes, and then it would say updated, and then you would get a screen that say format SD card, and you format it to get rid of all the files that you put on there, and you get a, the new normal and the new event folder. In this case, with the files they sent me, what they want me to do is they want me to hold down before the connecting the camera to power, which is really bad English because it's already connected to power. So they're saying before connecting it to power, press the M button and hold it on the left and then connect it to power. I think what they're saying is before the camera is turned on, they're using um, Chinese English. So instead of, they, what they want you to do is don't turn the camera on, press this button, hold it, hold it on the left, and then press the power button. And once the blue light comes on and starts blinking, you can take your finger away from the button. Um, very confusing. Let's try that and see what happens. I'll hold my finger down on the memory key. I don't know if that's something they've got built in to erase everything. I'm gonna hold it down a long time. And now, before connecting the camera, press and hold the M button on the left of the key area, and then connect it to power. I think they mean, and then press power. When the indicator on the camera blinks, you can take your finger away from the button. Probably the M button. So let's try that out. Connect it to power. Nothing happened. Let's try that again. That worked. I'm going to take my finger away now. So what I did is I pressed the M button, I pressed the power button, held it down. Once the light came on, um, I took my finger off the M button. We've got the blue light that's flashing really fast now. I don't know if it flashed this fast before. I have a feeling by doing the M button you completely wipe out, it erases all of the files that are in the firmware thing and then it starts over again. Because the other way that I did this, I just pressed the power button on and I never, I got a screen immediately. So I think pressing the M button and then the power button wipes everything out. So this is just like burning the firmware if you were in the factory with a camera that was just built and didn't have the firmware. I believe I've wiped out all the firmware. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this in the car, I'm going to see if it works. So. When I get back home, uh, I'll finish off the video and let you know if everything worked. And if it didn't, then I have a couple options. Um, the options are that uh, Van True will either cover the camera, or Amazon said, even though I'm out of the window, um, they'll help me out. I don't know what that means. Update successful. Totally different. So now, I've got my USB, and let's go in here. I don't know if I want to do USB connecting. USB connecting. This is taking a long time. I don't know if I like that. I should have connected right away. I'm connected to the computer. What is going on here? The computer detected it. And then they say if this doesn't work, not a big problem, not a big issue, go back and do it all over again and everything should work. But right now, nothing's working. It restarted the computer or restarted the camera. Now it detected again. Okay, that's good. USB connecting. USB connecting. We've got a definite problem here, that's for sure. Something's not right. I'll be back. I don't want to waste uh, two hours 
of your time watching me go in circles. I turned it on and off. I on and off, pressed the button, finally got into this connection thing here. I still don't, well, I'm connected USB now. We'll find out in a minute if this worked. Language, that's why I love this camera. Well, when it works. I love this camera because it's so easy to, I'm gonna format right now. So after I do the format, I wanna find out well, you want to format format reminder. I don't want time and date. What do we have? What's the date? I don't even know what the date is. 1014? That's weird. It keeps doing that. It keeps doing, um, keeps bouncing back to 1014. Or 1016? What are we at? 10, 16, 12, 36. 10, 16. Twelve. Month, day, year, yes. How easy that is! You don't even have to have to read the instructions. Well, what did I do? I pressed the wrong button. Time, date, auto LCD off, auto device sound. Three is good. Frequency. I live in the U.S., so we want sixty. System info. This is important here. 11.5. Well, let me go look at my software and we're going to know what happened right away. 11.5 is the software. And that's as far as they go. 11.5 and then they have the date on there, which we don't need. So, I think it did what it was supposed to do. Default settings, we don't want default settings. GPS, I don't have a GPS. I don't think I have a GPS. Speed unit, miles per hour. And then we're done. So we get out of this menu. Now, last thing that I wanna do, so I'm gonna power this down. Oh, I messed up. That's okay. We're going to start this thing up one more time. Make sure it connects to USB like it's supposed to. Press the button. We're starting up. That's a good thing. I'm going to go to USB power on. And I left are we going to lock up? That's the problem. We're locking up now. This is not good. Camera's obviously going to go back because there is a problem here. It should connect right away, and it isn't. But that's how you burn the software. I was going to go in there and change the, uh, the um, uh, resolution, but the camera's not working. But this video should let you know how you go in there and burn the software. I'm gonna try it one more time. Put all those 12 files back in there. I'm gonna burn this one last time and I'll be back in a minute. Again, I went back and thought maybe their broken Chinese English is the problem. So instead of pressing the power button, I what I did is I disconnected the power cable. I pressed the memory button, the M key, and then I plugged in the cable and the blue light started flashing. So I think maybe there's a bad communication in how they're writing it. What I had done originally, I plugged in the power, I had the power plugged in, I pressed the M button, and then I pressed the power switch. And now what I did is I just pressed the M button for a while, and then I uh, plugged in the power cable, blue light started flashing. This might take care of it now, I don't know. Um, you shouldn't have to go through all of this with a brand new camera, but uh, 
Okay, camera just started up. And let's see what happened. Camera just started up and we're bouncing back and forth between English and okay I've got the camera in a bad position here USB connecting this is where the problem was last time are we gonna connect oh boy. yeah the, there's no reason for this to be happening What I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around with this again, try to unplug it and plug it back in and see if I can bypass this USB connecting, but I think there's a, a definite problem right now. There it is, people. I took the camera, put it in the car, plugged everything in. It started right up like it's supposed to, and it did a beautiful recording like it's supposed to. And when I got back in the car to drive back home, the camera did not turn on. It wasn't that warm. I've read online a lot of people, not a lot of people, some people that complain say the camera does not handle temperatures over 100 degrees. It wasn't even anywhere near that today. Maybe the car was 100 degrees. I don't know, but this has happened in the morning. It's happened at night, happened in the afternoon. Sometimes the camera comes on, other times it doesn't. For those of you that want to know, the blue light comes on when the camera is on. When the blue light is flashing, that means it's recording. I don't know what mine was doing. All I know is that the screen stayed black, camera never recorded, no video on the uh, SD card. So I'm waiting to hear back from uh, Van True tech support. Uh, I did flash or burn the uh, copy that file, copy those 12 files to the camera four times and that was not the problem. That it still does not work. Uh, when I was connecting the camera to the computer, it kept on saying USB connecting and the camera was not working. The computer detected the camera, said it saw it, saw the drive, but uh, nothing was transferring. So if I don't get the, uh, if Antrue doesn't come through, and I don't know if they're going to, so far they've been very nice, they haven't answered in 12 hours, but if they don't cover me for the, uh, they're supposed to have 12 months of warranty if you buy the uh, camera, 18 months if you register online, so I registered yesterday and it said you've extended your warranty for 18 months, so that was 18 months plus a few months of after I bought it before I finally tested it out. And if they're not going to cover it, if I don't hear from them by tomorrow, then Amazon said they'll call me back. And I don't know if they're serious, but it sounded like the guy was saying, we'll let you ship the thing back as long as you buy another one, hopefully at the same price. And I would do that. I think the camera is excellent. I think the menu is excellent. I think the quality of the 4K is incredible, and I love it. And I would love to make a ton of videos and post them on YouTube. That's why I bought the camera. It's just unfortunate that nowadays when you buy stuff that comes from other countries, you end up with tons and tons of problems. You used to be able to buy a product that would last you 10, 15, 20 years and you didn't have a lot of problems. Now, what, I'm a couple weeks into this thing and I'm dealing with this nightmare. So I do like the camera, I do like the company. I am uh, my N2 Pro, I love it. It works, no problems at all. It, it works. They're, I couldn't be happier with the N2 Pro. It is in heat, it's in cold, it sits in the car all the time. I plug it in and it works. This camera, not so. I hope the video helped you out. I put a lot of time into this, so donation link in the video description if you want it. And uh, affiliate links and thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment. See ya.